Good morning, friends, and happy Monday. So as we approach what will be the reopening of the facility, there are several things I want to make sure I am communicating clearly to you so you understand how things are going to happen. Number one is the timeline. Up until this point, I'm still pushing for a two-week timeline, lined up with phase two, unless we are directly told that we cannot, right? So unless I get a direct letter or something telling me that I cannot go with phase two, my plan is to open up with phase two, which I'm predicting to be within two weeks. Number two, when we reopen, we will have to have a little bit of a different schedule for roughly, I'm gonna say about one month. So we will stagger the classes a little bit. We'll make that schedule known to you so you can see and you can pick what is the most convenient time for you. And then we'll have you guys check in, right? We will be capping the class sizes, but one of the benefits of working out at the area's largest facility is we have the ability to have a good sized class and still have members having 300 square feet per person. For example, the front CrossFit room, if you were to have 15 members in there, a class of 15 with a coach, which would be 16, that's 300 square feet per person. That's more than most people have in their house. That's more than you see at Walmart. It's more than you see anywhere else. So we're going above and beyond. Next is we will obviously maintain and increase our cleanliness meaning that we have two young women that clean every single night and we brought on a third to continue to clean and keep our gym clean and safe for you. My goal is to reopen the gym and have as little impact on you, the member, as possible while still intelligently following the rules that are placed upon us but not going and creating new rules that aren't there that don't have to be enforced. So as you can imagine, it's a really delicate balancing act for myself as a business owner. We know that not everybody will be comfortable to come back on day one. I understand that and I respect that. You are welcome and strongly encouraged and we miss you to come back when you are ready. We will keep some Zoom classes going for those of you that maybe are not ready to come back right away. And if you borrowed equipment, you don't have to turn that in right away as well. Now, as we get closer to that reopening date, I'm predicting that I will have a Saturday and Sunday equipment drop off for an, a window of one or two hours where you guys bring the equipment back. We clean it up, we put it back in the gym so it gets us in a position to open the doors and run our uh, first classes again. So anything that I missed, I don't think so. We're aiming for that two week timeline unless we are told directly that we cannot. We want to have as little impact on you the member as possible. A question I had the other day was, will you have to wear gloves and a mask? I'm not going to make that mandatory. If you want to come down and you want to work out with a mask on and gloves on, that's perfectly fine. I have no problem with that whatsoever. That is based on your comfort level and what you are ready to do. So guys, my job is to keep you informed. My job is to open the gym as soon as possible while still following what's being directed to me. Have an amazing day and I look forward to seeing you in person rather than talking to you.